All right, my friends, we are here today looking at a smartwatch. We haven't looked at one of these in a while. And today we're going to be looking at the new Thor. It's not really that new, actually. Thor 4 Android 7 smartwatch from Zblaze. And uh, that's coming right up. We're going we're gonna to look at it. All right, my friends, so here we go. This is this is the website. So this got sent to me from Banggood. Uh, the Z Blaze Thor 4, 1.39 inch AMOLED 4G LTE Android 7 smart watch phone do everything. Now, previously I had the Thor 3 and we tested that probably about a year ago, close maybe. Actually, we, we, we liked it, it was good. We had no, no qualms about it. Nice, nice little watch. This is the updated. You can see right here, there is the Canadian price as of right now. Just so you guys know, we do have a discount code provided to us from Banggood down below. If you guys are interested in this watch, so make sure you're watching this on the YouTube and go down into the description and the code will be there. So hopefully it can save you some of that hard earned money because that's your money. All right, let's take a look here first. It does say it looks like it's black. That's kind of what it is. Um, if you look at specs wise, you know, come down here. What do we have? AMOLED 1.39 inch. It is running uh, Grail Glass 4, which is good. Has a MediaTek quad core processor running Android 7 out of the box. Now, I don't know if that's upgradable. We will try to see if we can find out. It has a five megapixel camera. Now, I don't know how many of us actually use the camera, but if this is your one and only device, because it doesn't need to be connected to a phone like a lot of other smartwatches do. So maybe it's the only camera you have so you can get a shot, which is kind of cool. Built in 28 nanometer, nanometer, I guess, uh, GPS global positioning. So GPS system in it as a diverse sports mode. Cool. 580 milliamp battery and uh, one gig internal RAM and 16 gigs of storage. So very cool, kind of scroll down here. What is that? Oh, that must be the film on top of it. All right, cool, whatever. Uh, faster speeds, Android 7, sure, sure, camera, awesome, lovely, very good. If you wear it, you're gonna look like this person. No, all kinds of messages, nice. I'm gonna go through this part right here on the screen just so you guys can see. This is kind of all the specs if you're interested and you can see all that kind of information. If that means anything to you, if not, hey, be patient. Patience is a virtue. So here you go. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. All right, good enough. Let's let's crack this open. Here it is, Thor 4, 4G Android smartwatch uh, from Z Blaze. Nothing really else on here. That's it. Bunch of Thor. Okay, cool. My knife, and we'll just nice little crack that open as best we can. All right, so what is in here? What do we got? What do we got? How do we open this? Crack that open, maybe? Sure. Top off. All right, there we go. Top off. So nice little box. Seems like it's in good shape. Nothing, nothing poor. Open this up so you can see that. We'll take a look at that after. Anything else in the box? Probably. Dump all that out if there is anything. So that would kind of be everything in the box right there. Just throw that off to the side. So we get the charger cable, of course. So that's a little charger cable. We'll take a look at that in a second. We get the manual, not a big manual, but on, on, the, on the bonus side, if you guys can see that, hopefully you can see that right there. Uh, it is, the fonts are good, good size, which is excellent. Cause I'm always, you guys know, I'm always concerned that the fonts are gonna be small and I can't read it. So that's good. You get a screwdriver and that screwdriver is used so that you can remove the back, which is where you can put your SIM card so you can use this to make and receive phone calls if you so choose. If we look at the actual watch, looks good, it's a nice size. Nothing wrong with that, 1.39 I think it is, inches across. Power button, right here. So you get your power button right there. You got your back button, which is heavily used again on the Android system. We have our five megapixel camera that is floating around right there, which is also really good. Uh, this is, these are straps are nice. I really like, this should last you a long time. At least I would say the length of owning this watch. 
be aware it is not removable you can't change this this is as far as i know probably where a lot of the like, gps chips and cellular chips and all that kind of stuff are going to be sitting in there like the antenna stuff not necessarily the chips but the antenna stuff so just kind of be aware that's probably why they're not removable on the back of course we do have the charger port this area here where it says z blaze there's your little screw which you pull out to put your sim card in uh, and there is your uh, heart rate sensor so it has a nice little heart rate sensor on the back and if i were to put this on beside my apple watch just so you guys can see i won't actually put it on but if you can see it here you know it's it's definitely going to be thicker you can see the th thickness of it but it, it has a big watch in it and it has all the components that can make it like a phone which is important um, but actual face size it's not going to look much bigger but because of the circle it definitely seems to take up more space but actually i, I kind of like that because i like big watch faces and i like big watches now i don't know if this has any power but we will soon find out right about right about now actually so let's hold the power button down and see if anything happens ready first boot Anything? I'm thinking it's dead. I'm thinking I'm getting nothing is what I'm thinking. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a tour of the charger. Okay. So here's the charger real fast. You guys can see this. Now, of course, it doesn't come with the other side. So you have to plug this into your computer or into a power brick that you already have, you know, from your phone or tablet or whatever. This magnet right here only goes one way. It makes sense that it comes in from this direction. If you try to put it in this direction, it will reject it. So negative to that has to come in this way, which is what you'd want it to do, right? But nice, solid snap. No problems with that. It's just like click, you know it's there. All right, I'm gonna charge this up and see if we can get this thing running. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. This has had a chance to charge. So you can kinda, I think, power. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if you can. So right off the start, we're just gonna go through the setup nice and simple. Is this straight? Sort of straight. It's a little bit more straight right there. That seems straighter. Anyway, so we have our languages. So touchscreen seems to work really nice. Got a confirm button, excellent. This is where I can go in and get all my uh, information. How much do I weigh? I don't even know. Hold on, let me figure it out. So it's got a little vibrate when you go through this. So 113 kilograms, all right. Lock target. Eight, share, confirm, good. Scan the code from a smartphone to connect it. Oh, I guess I need to do that. Okay, well, to install the app. What if I what if I don't want? Oh, so it does have to connect. What if I close out of that? I don't want to connect it yet. Oh, there you go. So you don't have to. You don't have to. You can skip the app if you don't want. So there we go. Uh, is this the right time? No, so I'd have to set that. And I would think that if I could pull this into my physical watch, it would have actually got all this connection. So don't worry about this. Screen wise though, nice edge to edge, which is cool. I, I'm just gonna play with this a little bit just so you can see. So we have the ability to slide over. So we'll have contacts, right? Phone, messages, settings, browser, downloads, calendar, clocks, camera, gallery, music, sound recorder, file management, heart rate monitor, fitness, weather. Oh my gosh, it's just got everything, right? Play store, even Play Store, App Store, Assistant, so all kinds of stuff, which is awesome. If we hit Fitness, we just kind of tap on that, right? We go through this, and we can actually scroll through to figure out what we want. Outdoor run, outdoor walk, indoor run. Very nice setup. It's it's very nice. We can back out of this, I would think. Yep. Weather. Now, the weather, of course, we'll probably need to connect to a network. So let's just do this real fast. We'll go into settings just so you guys can see this. See if I can connect to my my network here. All right, display app connect. I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi on. It's looking. There they are. Password. You guys don't necessarily get to see this. Boom! Connected. Nice. It's super simple. Right? Authenticating. All right, there we are. We're we looks like we're all connected. You can actually see it here. Connected. Just getting everything there. Awesome. Back out. Oh, look watch update open new version let's do it download going all right beeping and doing all kinds of downloady stuff all right so we're gonna let that go i guess it's a weird little it just can you hear that right 
just kind of goes through this vol vibrating thing. You, uh, you, you only have the option to cancel. Or at the top, here you go, so you can see it. It's just... Bum, bum, bum. That's weird. I guess you can tell that it's doing something, I guess. 100%. Install. No, that was an install later. Nope, don't want that. Download, please click to install. Open. Install now. Okay, so we're going to let this install, and we'll be right back. Rebooting. Okay, let's wait, I guess. Well, the one nice thing that it's doing while it's actually installing the system update is that it automatically check the moment I got internet connection so because there is no need for me to have to go into the system a lot of people that buy these watch aren't you know tech savvy which is okay and it's nice for the watch to actually come up and be like hey there's an update let's let's do this so that's kind of cool now how long does this update take I don't know we'll find out all right it looks like the update is almost done we're just coming up on the end of the progress bar which is fantastic and it took about I'd say between four and five minutes to do the uh, update so that's not horrible now the download of course that all depends on your internet speed so for me it came down pretty fast no no concerns whole process maybe took 10 minutes download to install maybe and it's doing its reboot which is good you can see the startup screen all right android is starting all right there we go so we got an installation complete here a little okay we're back back and running chewed up about a percentage or two of battery not horrible so again just to go through these as we can see we can go right and left to kind of go through those right you'll kind of see that's i believe your, your activity if you feel like getting to the end and what's nice is you'll get this little note right at the end right kind of come back now if you go the other way you'll get notifications that pop up so that's kind of cool if you scroll this way you will get some of your average this is going to be like your step counter and things like that that have been going on through the day you can click on, I believe, the settings in here, possibly. Yeah. So to change that, if you so, because hey, sometimes you get a little lighter, sometimes you get a little heavier. Probably not going to get a lot taller, unless you're young, because then you would, right? But that's all right. Back out of this, and then you have from top down. So you'll have the: Is it connected to a phone? You know, do I have uh, a actual SIM card in here? Here's your battery life, and of course, once you're in this, I like too, because your battery life kind of has this blue ring around the outside which I like it's just cosmetic whatever I like that if you scroll this way you're going to be able to go into your quick access so like change your screen brightness put it into airplane mode are you connected to wi-fi etc etc keep going this is clean so you got a whole bunch of apps open you can be like let's just clean those up free up some memory which is awesome I like that feature over here if you have music on here again play pause adjust your volume etc etc and if you had your weather set up it'll come in here and do that now i haven't gone into the weather app so that hasn't been set yet but once i do it'll be right there so nice quick access and again when you finish little back button to bring you to bring you out of that back to your face if you push and hold right down on that so like they have a touch like a touch face touch screen you can figure out there's a couple pre belts in here about what your watch face is going to look like so that's kind of nice what do you want do you want some classy ones do you want you know add a new one so if you want to add one this is i believe a gallery so you can go in and get some but for me right now i'm going to go into i like i like the white one i think i like that one just look at that that's nice nice and simple boom i like that that's kind of it you know it does have access like i said to the different stores so you can go get some apps you can customize and get different watch faces uh it's got a heart rate monitor on there it's a good you know if you're not a person that wants to be spending two, three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars on a smartwatch, and you want something that can be heavily used on its own, I actually think this is a really nice little watch. The build quality seems really good, nice and high. The brightness of the screen is good. It's a 400 by 400 pixel density, so 400 by 400 pixels on here, which for this size of screen, as you can see, it looks fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. And it's going to kind of do everything you want. Now, you can pair this with both an iPhone or an Android phone using the app, which I didn't do, but you can. And it'll grab some notifications from certain pieces of software on your smartwatch. Now, the other bonus, again, is that you can put a SIM card in here. And if you put a SIM card in here, this could be kind of the all-in-one shot. It just does everything all by its lonesome. So that's kind of nice as well. I'm going to leave you guys there. 
Now again, Banggood did give me a little coupon code for you guys that want this. It's going to be down below. What does it give you? Honestly, I can't even remember. I think you can get this for 99 US. Now that's of time of shooting this. So if you guys are watching this months or years down the road, I don't know if the code is even valid. So sorry, but as of now, we should be good. That's it, my friends. Again, link down below, code down below, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel because, of course, that helps. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. See you in the next video. Later, my friends.